Hi, everyone. Welcome to our monthly podcast for the channel maintenance and all questions uh, and items related to respective channel. We have the creator of the channel and co-founder partner with me and our business team, Chris, who's been gracious enough at this late hour over in Europe to uh, spend some time with us to address a number of items. So we're going to go through that. And again, as always, if you're new to the channel, please do like, subscribe, and share to help the channel grow and hit the notification bell so you can customize the updates you want to get. So uh, Chris, how are you doing in this late evening? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you, John. Thanks for asking. How's everything going with you over there? Good. It's still fairly early over here. So, uh, you know, it's got a lot of a lot of events to do today. This is one of them. So, uh, yep, glad to, to, as these things accumulate, to be able to kind of, you know, rid ourselves of the information so that everybody kind of feels like they're kind of up to date, especially with where we are in the world today, as you know. So um, I'll take the lead if you're okay with that, Chris. On the first point, um, this is part of our, our housekeeping issues, folks. Um, we've noticed an uptick on our Rumble channel. We've been able to do a pretty good job on the YouTube channel of getting rid of the spam and bots and knuckleheads, as you know, but they found their way over to Rumble, unfortunately. Um, still, I think most of you know this, but we want it to just be very transparent, like we always are out in the open. If you see comments from people pushing QFS, posing as me, it's not us. We never ask you for money. We don't ask you for donations. Now, some of you have been kind enough to give us donations, which we greatly appreciate if God has told you to, to plant a seed of faith. We appreciate it, but it's not a requirement. We'll never ask you for money or donations or anything like that. So likewise, if we're not doing that, we're certainly not going to push some fictitious QFS thing. It isn't going to work like that. I mean, every other truther that we work with has probably told you ostensibly the same thing, but we want to hear, hear it from us. If you get that, just ignore it. Please do us a favor and hit spam and report them. It helps us add to the cache of removing these knuckleheads because you are going to get a lot of scammers towards the end of this process of the reset trying to come out at their last minute and get whatever little coffers they can out of people, which is unfortunate, but that's the enemy. Uh, it's a distraction. So just please disregard. The only place that you will find us legitimately is here on YouTube, on our Rumble channel, uh, on BitChute, and of course on our Telegram channel, which we will leave all those links in said description. Now, for those of you who can't find it, it's very simple. When you see the title of a podcast that we have, you'll see below it says more. Just click on where it's highlighted in black, more, and all the hyperlinks will pop up of whatever we're offering, sponsorships, and or where to find us. So it, we've, Chris has done a thoughtful job of making that pretty easy. So we want to take care of that. But, but again, anything on Rumble that says QFS or this XRP Dave Lyon guy, we don't even know him. We're not involved with that. We don't do with any of that. Uh, so just please report it, spam it, disregard. And uh, that's that. So just wanted to take care of that, Chris. Um, next point of order is, <clears throat> and we're dealing with the same challenges you are, hyperinflation, which is the death of the dollar. We all, I think we all know that by now, but it's hitting us here stateside and over where Chris is, especially in, in Europe. So in order to sustain the end hyperinflation, we're gonna have to get additional sponsors to keep the channel going. We're not gonna ask you for any money and this is the way that we mitigate that, but we are um, having a number of conversations with some very reputable sponsors, which of course we would only deal with, as I think you know by now, um, that will help us to curtail our expenses and also help us to increase uh, support staff that we need to handle the load as this channel is growing, thanks to your support. So you may experience, you're already experiencing with YouTube and Rumble, uh, seemingly every five, 10 seconds, an ad right now. We receive, as Chris can tell you, next to Bupkis, nothing on those monetizations, but they still do it anyway. So what I'm saying is you may see an ad in the beginning of the podcast uh, and, and we'll try to do it at the beginning so we don't have to do it in the middle at the end like you experience on some other channels to minimize that. You're still going to get the same great, great truth and content and, and uh, subject matter experts, but uh, you know we're fighting the same challenges you are with hyperinflation. So we please ask and appreciate your patience and understanding uh, through this matter. We, we still have to pay our bills and survive so we can get everyone safe to shore on the other side. But we wanted to, as always, be transparent and get upfront about it so that you weren't surprised when you see this uh, become a possibility either this month or certainly by November. So we just wanna do uh, take care of that. 
Um, now, Chris, I will turn it over to you briefly for Club Patriot. Um, any updates you have on that in terms of the chat room? Any other messages that I need to know about? Um, yes. So the last time we did do a podcast was last month, and I did give you guys an update saying that the chat is still being built. I did get news back today from the developer to say that it is nearly done. Um, he's estimating within two to three weeks, it should be fully up and running um, just in time for the elections. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot to talk about around the the November to January kind of time. There's going to be a lot of news, a lot of stuff going on with the, the currency revaluations or just mm -hmm. a, a lot of subjects on this matter. So we're, that's our goal. I want to get it up for the kind of the first week of November would work. So let's hope he sticks with his word and we'll stick with ours as well. Um, Sorry. As for Club Patriot, um, some of you are still confused. I do see a lot of the emails and the comments. So what Club, Club Patriot is, let me just explain it again. It's one massive platform. We have put the chat on it to network with like-minded people like yourselves, the audience. And there's also going to be a section to speak to um, fellow patriots and influencers and podcasters such as John Dowling, Nicholas Fenyamin and many other uh, faces that you're, you're familiar with. There's also another category on the back of this to help people make money. Like John just mentioned, times are really tough all over the world right now. Yes, the RV is going to come into play. Yes, all the precious metals, they're all going to revalue and everyone is going to be fortunate at the end of this but in in the the short term like i say never rely on one source of income if there is something you can do like switch on your laptop and work from the comfort of your own home and make money why not i'm doing it many other people have helped doing it you can go on the academy side of club patriot and you will find information there how to make some streams of income so yeah that's um that's, that's Club Patriot covered for you guys. Great. Thank you for that, Chris. And uh, and Chris also has some, uh, uh, we asked you if you had, a couple of you said that you wanted to talk to me offline. Uh, some of you had some uh, prophetic messages God gave you. We're not ignoring you. We've just been swamped right now with the podcast and trying to keep on top of said reset information. But I believe Chris has some uh, intake forms that uh, were recommended to get a hold of me. So he will get those to me as soon as possible. Uh, if you just give me a little time, folks, I will do my best to get to you as quickly as I can. Um, the next two weeks, I'll be very upfront with you, are going to be very intense for, for this month because this is sort of the birthing pains push October <clears throat> into the elections, as Chris mentioned earlier. But but he will get those to me and I will get back to you, uh, rest assured. So I just wanted to, to say that. And, and to his point about residual income. Remember this, that Solomon, for all those of you who are Christian, Solomon said in the Bible that uh, you want to have multiple streams of income. He actually recommended seven to eight. So uh, Club Patriot in that aspect is an excellent um, supplementary way to, to compensate that. You don't want to be, yes, we're going to have an uh, excess of wealth and all that, but uh, that money that you're going to be coming into the reset is wholly designed to do God's kingdom work slash humanitarian project slash your legacy fund for your children, children's children. So you want to have um, supplementary or residual income on the side that can just pay whatever overhead you have every month, uh, other business ventures that will come up as a result, things that God will put on your heart to do, you know, why dip into your legacy fund? So having the residual income is a practical and biblical tenet as well. So <clears throat> just thought that was noteworthy to mention. Um, and then I think you had a question, Chris, or something from some of the people on the Club Patriot or maybe some ancillary things you want to ask me? So, yes, yeah, just um, just going to go through some of our question, questions that we get every week. Some of them we do seem to repeat yeah. every week. Sure. One of your favorite ones, John, is probably a uh, first one. Where can you buy XRP? If you want to <laughs> answer that once again for our audience, just as a reminder. Gee, never, never got that one asked before. Um, yeah, there, there's a number of places, folks. Um, there's three that we recommend. So just bear with me. Coinbase is the most expedient one. You can go in the platform. You can go into Coinbase Pro, put it in that wallet, or do what we humbly recommend, which is get a physical 
hardware wallet because it's got 24 word encryption as well as a fingerprint so that it is authentically your own and nobody can, unless they cut your finger off, they're not gonna be able to get into it even if they had the 24 words. So <clears throat> we've talked about that with Mahoney many times. He's seeing the benefits of that. Um, and one, you, there's a lot of good ones. Razor is good. I personally like Descent, D apostrophe, C E N T, very good customer service. They will even help you upload the cryptos for you onto the wallet because it's in their best interest that you work with them. So they're going to make it as convenient as possible. Another good option now, I want to dispel some myths out there. There are inaccuracies. Robinhood now is a place to get XRP. Somebody said, oh, no, you can't get it there. Yes, you can that person's wrong. You can absolutely go to Robinhood. We put it on our Telegram week and a half ago. They are now officially licensed to take on XRP, which is a good sign because the more platforms that take it, the more um, globally accepted it's going to be. We, we've already shown you folks on previous podcasts with physical examples, like on the Lynette Zhang podcast last week. You, you may recall, Chris, where <clears throat> I showed you all that uh, XRP was absolutely used to facilitate uh, India's purchase of large amount of oil through China using the petro yuan XRP, not XRPL, XRP was actually used as the digital tokenization mechanism to make that purchase happen, which just shows the legitimacy of XRP on the ISO 20022 said blockchain with digital ledger technology. Another place that started the whole process is a company or an app out of your area, Chris, in, in England, which is uh, Uphold. And the knock on Uphold is that it, traditionally it has been, it takes a week to transfer. Truthfully, I haven't used Uphold in a while. Uh, yeah. I did use them and they didn't take that long for me. So every experience for each user is a little bit different, but you asked where you can get it. And those are the three places that we'd recommend. Again, Coinbase, uh, Robinhood yeah. and Uphold. Please write that down folks. So you will have that for posterity. So you don't have to continue to keep asking. Yeah, thank you. Um, just a quick one as well. What's your view on uh, Binance? Because over here in Europe and in the UK, that's one of the main platforms that everyone uses. So what's your what's your personal opinion on this? Have you heard Seriously, anything I, about them? I mean, I I've I've familiar with them quite a bit, obviously, from some of the intel of our 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 crypto side, spe specifically with John G, who runs the point with that the most. Uh, I haven't really used them to be able to give you an, an educated uh, experiential answer. Um, I've heard mostly good, some bad, but I've heard mostly good. I think it depends on um, how you use the exchanges in real time, if you're trying to convert it in one of their wallets or your own. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think it, it just really depends on your particular situation. I've heard more good than bad about them, but um, but it is definitely a platform that is going to be, we believe, one of the ones that uh, you know moons with the other cryptos here in the next yeah. three to six months. Okay. Well, yeah, I just thought, uh, just, just from my, I used yeah. to keep my cryptos on Binance as well. I don't know longer, but it's no good problem. anyway. You've given three anyway. So a fourth <laughs> option, obviously, whatever you guys do, do your own research. We can only advise you what we think, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you for that, John. No problem. Um, so yeah, uh, moving forward, another question that I, I, I really want to ask you, I see this quite a lot. Um, so look, I want you to put this, I know you, you put so much information out there with the currency revaluations, with the, the, the precious metals, you're the finance man. When people talk about the finance guy online, it's John Dowling. That's the first, that's the first person that comes to my mind anyway, in this, in this community. So with all the, in simple terms, what is going on right now with the currency revaluations? And where do you see it going, in your opinion, in the next few months? Because off camera, John, we speak a lot and you are telling me a lot is going on right now. You're telling me there's wars and there's bombs going off to bomb bases, which is going to make currencies revalue. Just in simple terms, if you can try answer this in a minute or two. Okay. Yeah, not as simple as it might seem, but I'll do my best. Um we're at, we're at a birthing pain point, Chris, and ladies and gentlemen, whereby a lot of synchronicity events are happening. Um, it seems from everything that we can gather right now that uh, Israel is just waiting to hit the power plants of Iran. It's obviously a politically coordinated event, most likely associated with said election upcoming in three weeks from today, uh, believe it or not, if we should have one. Uh, 
um, based on our, our so what we try to get with Derek Johnson to get as close to the bullseye as we can on an answer with that, um, realizing that there's no no perfect answer and we will find out as God reveals it. But that's what it looks like once he is elected and 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 we get him in uh, and we continue to pray over him for that for his protection and his his reinstatement optically from commander in chief to president of the constitutional republic uh that's when we expect all chaos and panic to be going off in november uh with with that which will facilitate the dinar and then we watch china taiwan uh that two-day quote and quote unquote invasion uh because they're most likely you would think they would do it this year because uh, you don't want it when Trump come back, comes back in because you power up our military to such an extent that would not be advantageous for China and, you know, Taiwan, to, China and Russia to pair up. You've got Ukraine, which I think we all kind of know that that's been already dealt with. We're just waiting for these optical things to reach their finality point. Um, so it's a succession of events uh, which will spike the dollar, the hyperinflation. So it'll be good for people that they have currencies that they have cryptos, that they have precious metals, that they have cash on hand, of course, to, to mitigate that and help their fellow neighbors and families uh, transition through the process. So that's what we see happening primarily in November and throughout the remainder of 2024. Okay, so there we go. Sounds like could be happening this year, which would be amazing for all of us. So mm -hmm. let's just pray that happens and um, yeah. Thank you for that, John. You're welcome. Um, did you want to mention something else about some stocks? We're getting a lot of questions regarding yep. stocks that you mentioned on one of your interviews. So if you yes. want to get out there as well to those asking. Please and thank you. Yes, I promised I was going to mention that. I was just waiting, folks, for the right time. And that's why we wanted you to tune in to the monthly podcast here with Chris, where we can take care of these housekeeping issues. And so I've written them down. So I want you to write these down and I want you to research on your own folks. Um, we're going to give you a couple of places we recommend uh, as far as where to get said stocks, but um, hopefully you can see this. Uh, let me know if you can see that, Chris. Um, uh, no. First no. one is Xenon. I'm going to try to get through here. Zion Oil and got, Gas is the that. first one, is the ticker Xenon. Now, I personally use Schwab. They're not great, but they are reliable for the moment. You can go on Fidelity, go do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. It's not constituting financial advice. We're just giving you valuable information for you to discern. I have to put that Season. disclaimer in. But Xylan Oil and Gas is a stock that is located as of 2000 in Dallas, Texas. They have 75,000 acres right smack in the middle of Israel. They, um, they have been trying for years to get oil. We believe privately that they have already found oil and it's just a matter of them announcing said oil. And then we anticipate that this stock will rise to about 20 bucks right off the bat. And uh, it's pennies a share right now. So it's a great buy. And of course you'd be supporting Israel as well in the process, but, but yeah, Zion oil and gas is fantastic. Xenog is the ticker. And then another one that I have that's Greg Ramirez has talked about WTI, fabulous stock. It's already gone up 10% for me on Schwab. And that's another stock that's um, it's more in the dollar range, but that has a tremendous amount of upside as well. And the reason that I bring these up is because going back to your question about the reset, Chris, this correlates nicely because once Israel hits those power plants of Iran, that is the grave surrender. We've talked about that, but there's another component. They're going to hit the power plants in the oil fields. Where does that sound familiar? Kuwait, the Kuwaiti dinar in 1992, for those of you who are keeping track in your history books, we had a massive spike in oil. We're going to see a massive spike in oil. So it might behoove you to have these oil stocks because you can take advantage of the hyperinflation and the oil boom. You're going to see, we believe, oil prices spike up to about uh, 120 give or take 150 bucks. And it's just going to continue to move up there for a period of time while Trump is transitioning optically back in. So this will help you to make a nice residual income to Chris's point or another layer of it, if you will, tranche while that's happening and uh, be able to take advantage of that and actually prosper while the rest of the world is not seeing this happen. This is one of the beautiful things about being part of our community is it gives you a level of knowledge and exclusivity that you might not get everywhere else. I mean, we know some people are talking about, but not everybody is aware of it. So 
Zion Oil and Gas, WTI, they can be found on Fidelity and also on Schwab, that's where I trade. You can set buy sell limit orders. So when it hits that $20 mark, or if you wanna cash out some at 15 or 10 and go, when it goes to 20, that's your discretion, that's your choice, but that's the easiest way to do it. Um, you, you, all of these platforms will also help you to set up buy sell limit orders. So please don't look to us to do that for you. You need to do it yourself. If you wanna make this kind of money, you have to do some self-governance. So we're lovingly you know, pushing the training wheels off of you so that you can go forward. But that's the two stocks that yeah. I was alluding to earlier. Uh, thank you for that, John. And sure. uh, just one last thing as well for those of you who want to help want help with um, the stock market and trading. They also teach that on the back of the Club Patriot platform. So anyone that's not familiar with it and has never took a punt at the stock market before, you can go learn how to use it. And like you just mentioned, the automatic buy sells and it's all there for you. So clubpatriot.com on right. the academy section you will learn that that's one of the sources of incomes that we teach on the website so yeah thanks again john no thank you that's um, a good point just i want to also put it out there we did speak about the currencies you can also buy currencies on chakra energy website we will leave that link in the description as well over here in europe and several parts of the world we actually, you can't get all the currencies. So as John just mentioned, the Iraqi dinar, the Vietnamese dong, it's not simple. Uh, there might be some places where you are in the US where you can just go online and press one button and you get it in the click of your fingers straight away. It's not like that in most places of the world. So I know Chakra Energy, they ship worldwide. So check them out as well. Do your own research before purchasing but they've been, they've been good for our audience the last few years. So yeah, yeah, especially for those who are in Europe, we have a fairly, I think you know the stats better than I do, but I think we have a fairly good contingency or at least a burgeoning growing contingency okay. in the whole of Europe, Australia, okay. where they don't have as many options as we do here in America. So um, you have become a reliable, or I should say Chakra has become a reliable source for them. And then of course you on the back end supporting that. Well, yeah, that's that's it. That's it. And that's that's where I got my currencies from because where I live, I wasn't able to get them. So I can vouch for them. They they will send you your currencies and you will receive it. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's all good. So John, moving forward. Um before we go forward, I apologize. I just want to mop yeah. up one thing. And yes, you can get Boulevard. I know people are gonna ask, so let's get ahead of it. You can get Boulevard, right. you can get Dong, Dinar, Zim. Yes, the, the, we've gotten a lot of inquiries about the Zim on Rumble and other places. So let's get that cleaned up right, right now before yep. we go on, Chris. Pardon the in, interruption. Um, some of you are confused about, because I don't know where you are in your movement or your, your, your knowledge base. You have to give me some rope there, obviously. Uh, there are people out there incorrectly saying that the Zim bonds are not going to move or they're out of circulation. That's not true. Um, Right now, as I educated Lynette last week on our discussion, which you should go check out that podcast. We think it was a very meaningful one of all the ones that I've done with her. And they were all good. This one, I think, just takes it up a notch because of where we are in the cycle of things. But as I explained to her, um, the entire world is dealing with corruption. I don't think that should be too hard to fathom here in America and throughout the entirety of the world. Certainly, you know that, Chris. We are seeing uh, the grave surrender, not just with Israel, but look at my weekly wrap-up stuff that I'm showing you. We're seeing deaths, resignations, CEO stepping down, Diddy, the whole of Hollywood. That's not an accident. We don't read this to you because we're trying to be the mainstream news. We read it to you because we want you to understand how all the pieces correlate like we do with the other podcasts, right? So you have to look at it at the totality of things. You're seeing the removal of corruption. That's at the end of the day, what the, the, the general bullseye thesis is. Conversely, Zimbabwe is in the same place. They have Edmund Mungawa in there who's corrupt. The people want Nelson Chamisa, who's a Christian man of God. You already know Elon's working with him with Starlink. If he's working with him, you know President Trump's working with him and has a long time ago. You see the gold ties. You look at the 20 promises Chamisa has made because he's already done it. Like Trump has made 20 promises. See how they mirror each other? You have to look at the patterns. So once Chamisa is put in, what he's already done is worked with them to install the Zig dollar and the Zig gold coin. So they've already gold backed the, the Zig dollar and gold coin. They turned down China's request 
is very important, folks. They turned down China's request to go in. They gave China offered Zimbabwe $300 million this summer to go and mine metals. Why would they do that unless they had the, the gold, right? Because they want to mine their own gold because they realize how wealthy and independent they are and need to be. Chamisa will steerhead that. Once he's in, like Trump, he will tuck those Zim bonds into the zig and he'll have one currency. And as Ariel has said many times, like her or not, she's been right on a lot of things. They have the gold. They will revalue those Zim bonds. I, I promise you, it will happen. But this process of removing corruption dark to light needs to occur. So I just really wanted to, to point that out to the audience. So yeah, it would be worth getting a few Zim, Zim, Zim notes if you can. And once again, Chakra Energy does supply the Zim notes. So yep. yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for that, John. No, you're well, good. Uh, what else do we have to say today to the audience, John? Do you want to break the news? Well, uh, yeah, I will. Thank you. There's one other key thing. We kind of hinted at it and some of the wrap-ups. Um, I wanted to be clear before Chris shows you the visuals. Okay, I prayed a lot about this. Um, this was, and it, there's no fault or anything like that. We're just, again, being transparent. This was not my idea. Uh, I, this was not my brain trust. This was Chris's idea in a good way. Um, I, I really prayed a lot about it. I asked God if this is something we should do. And I felt that it was okay to move forward for three primary reasons. Number one, um, we have come up with something that we think is a pretty special offering, and it's going to benefit you in many ways. Um, so Chris has come up with a customized, a minted silver coin, $99.99, which has my name and likeness on it. And the reason that I'm okay with it is threefold. Number one, it's a way to commemorate this rare his historic season that we're in right now that we will never see again. Two, um, Chris and I have talked and we are going to do a giveaway to random people in our uh, fan base. Um, we do want to target, I'll be honest with you, we want to target, everybody's in need, but we want to target the elderly who have said, I have nothing and I don't have a way to get anything and they feel sort of helpless and stuck. We're primarily gearing it towards that contingency of the uh, fan base as a means of a gesture of goodwill of giving back and being part of the solution instead of the problem. So that was a strong pull for me to agree to do this is the giveaway portion, which Chris has generously offered. He's, he's given me a certain amount of coins. And I said, look, just give me one and give the other portion away. I can buy more at a later date. I want this to go out to deserving people who are not as fortunate as some of the rest of us in terms of having precious metals. So we want to get everybody as much as we can in the game. So we, we pray that you appreciate that well-intentioned, thoughtful gesture. The third and final reason I was good with this is because I thought about the long-term. When I do have my guardians slash kids down the road in the not too distant future, they're going to ask me what I did during this historical time. I can tell them aud audibly. I can articulate it. I can show them documents. I can even show them some of these videos that we believe will age extremely well in the annals of time. But there's nothing quite like having a physical um, representation to commemorate that season. Not that I particularly want to look at myself that much. I'm, uh, I'm not comfortable staring at myself all the time and, and, and certainly making it about narcissism or anything like that. It's, it's, uh, it's just a way to commemorate the season. I hope you folks really understand and appreciate that. So we have come up with a coin that is a limited edition. Chris will tell you about it. There's only 100 being made in circulation. So just like in music, if you make a certain amount of, you know, onlines or vinyls or CDs, there's a cost when you do a minimum. And the more you get, the cheaper the rate is. But we're only planning on doing a limited edition of 100. So we're going to offer these for sale. And uh, again, as I said, we're going to give away uh, four or five in a random raffle that Chris will do with the emphasis on those in the most and greatest need. So Chris, that introduction, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, thank you, John. Thanks for that. Yeah, you basically explained it um, fully. So yeah, it's going to be a, a 999 solid silver coin, one ounce. It's going to have a, it's, good, it's, it's the John Dowling special. So it is one of one of 100, only 100 will ever be minted. Um, on top of everything you have mentioned, John, which is... Um, thank you for that is you've put a good uh a good few bits out there but also yes like you've just said it will encourage more people to get involved with precious metals there's a lot of information online i'd just like to remind people especially on our channel that one day silver will be worth more than gold 
So right now, silver's around the $30 mark. Gold's around, that was it Was it today, $3,000? Some, uh, no, no, it's not, quite that, it's not quite that high. Let me take a look. Silver's at $3,175. Gold is at $2,679. So it's approaching 26. the 2700 mark. It'll be $3,000 yeah. before the end of the year, I'm sure of it. Yeah, so, so what they're saying is one day silver will be worth the same as gold, if not more, when all of this happens. So it is a good time to invest. You can uh, get one of these coins today. Um, you can click on the link in the description. The, the website is www.johndowlingcoin.com. All, all of the information will be on the website. One last thing I just want to cover that this channel, like we said earlier, John, is run with very minimal financial support. So we do get a lot of emails, people asking, can they support the channel? Can they give us any donations? Any funds we make from this coin, we would also use to give back to our community. Thank you for this, guys. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 it, first of all, folks, it's, I never thought, <laughs> first of all, I never thought I'd have a podcast. This was not part of my plan, it was God's plan. But I certainly, now that we're here, would have never dreamed of having my own coin. I mean, it just seemed too, I don't know, so transcendental. It's just something I never dreamed of even, you know, that happening. But again, um, I'm okay with it only from the standpoint of what it will do for the community, what it will do for the history. Sometimes we have to look in the longer picture thing, a frame of things, right? I mean, this reset is all about that. It's all about not looking about the short term. I've, I've taught you folks a lot about or, or recommended to you not to have a lottery mindset. Remember I told you a couple weeks ago, a, a lottery mindset is a poverty mindset. God's words, not mine. He wants us to be longer and bigger picture focused. And I think this plays nicely into that equation. So uh, this is all again about commemorating the season. Um, again, for my future kids, my future wife, uh, it's just something to be able to to look back on. It's something that that we all need to be getting precious metals anyway. It's just something I can bequeath to them, you know, on my will one day in, the, in in our trust. So that's that. Those are the main reasons. Once again, why I think this is important. Thank you for that, John. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to the audience before we leave? Uh, no, just uh, thank you again. Thank you for your support. It's been overwhelming to see. The, the kind responses from all over the world. I mean, I, I literally thought this was just going to reach mostly America. I mean, I thought well, there might be a little bit of a European outreach, but to, to see, you know, people, again, Scotland, Australia, England, Africa, the Philippines, to see somebody in Japan take our work and translate it, uh, you know, it's just dumbfounding. I would have never have dreamed that you know, God, God was, somebody told me, Chris, once that, you know, God is going to use this and spread it around the world. And I thought he was just being encouraging. I didn't think he was being literal, but as it turns out, as you know, looking, you look at the stats and the numbers, that is actually what has been the case. So when we are in service folks to him, when he knows, somebody said to me once, if God can trust you, the sky's the limit. So just, just bear that in mind. And thank you again, once again, for the, all the support. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And thank you, John, for everything you've been doing for the channel and for all of the audience. We we do appreciate everything you're putting into this, all the information you're giving us that on a daily basis. And uh, I can't wait for the guys to see the coin because you you look great in the coin. You look fantastic. <laughs> I know. I'm sure you're exaggerating, it. but thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> thank, it, you, it, so. thank you. It is a team effort. I mean, I've got, like I said, 20 or 30 men and women that that are too modest to put their name out there. But uh I can't do this without them. I can't do this without you, Chris. And I certainly can't thank do this without the audience support. So literally in a very sincere way as a conjoined effort. But thank you again. Thank you, John. Yeah. Take care, guys. Take care, everybody. God bless. See you in a bit.